Welcome to Electron Line. It turns out that mechanics and torques are very prevalent in the study of human mechanics, body mechanics. For example, how much tension does the tricep need to apply in order to take your arm and lift it up into a horizontal position? The only muscle that can do that is the muscle that's attached to your, to your skeleton right here in your arm. It would be the tricep that's connected to the humerus in the upper arm and that's the muscle that can pull your arm up into a horizontal position. How strong is that muscle? How strong does that muscle need to be in order to accomplish that? Well, here's the physics of it all. Let's say that the weight of the arm, when it's stretched out like that, is 50 newtons, and the center mass is about 30 centimeters away from the joint in the shoulder. The tricep is connected to the bone about 8 centimeters away from where the arm pivots right here in the shoulder joint. The angle that that muscle makes is about 12 degrees relative to the horizontal when the arm is outstretched like that. Let's find out what force is required on that, from that muscle in order to get your arm and, be, and hold it in that particular position. Again, we can say that the sum of all the torques about the pivot point, let's call the pivot point right here, let's call that pivot point A, about pivot point A must add up to zero. First of all, we have the weight of the arm. Relative to this pivot point, it gives that a clockwise direction, that's a negative torque, so that would be equal to minus the weight times the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot point, which would be 30 centimeters. And we can leave it in centimeters because I believe centimeters will end up canceling out, so let's write it as 30 centimeters. Now we have the force caused by the tricep, which is pulling the arm in a counterclockwise direction, that's a positive force, or a positive torque I should say, that would be the force from the tricep, and now we have to multiply that times the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot point, that's this distance right here, let's call that distance D. Now we need to figure out what that distance D is, let me redraw that so you can easily see what it looks like. So here's the triangular shape that we're talking about. This distance here, that's the hypotenuse, that is 8 centimeters. This is the distance we're trying to find, and this is the angle which is opposite to the distance D. We can then see that D is equal to the hypotenuse of 8 centimeters times the sine of theta, which in this case is 12 degrees. And that would then go in here. Let's now plug that into our equation right here. We get 0 is equal to minus mg, that would be 50 newtons, times 30 centimeters, plus the unknown force, times d, which is 8 centimeters, times the sine of 12 degrees. Solving for f, moving this to the other side and turning the equation around, we have f times 8 centimeters, times the sine of 12 degrees, is equal to a positive 50 newtons, times 30 centimeters. Finally, dividing both sides by 8 centimeters and the sine of 12 degrees, we have the force, and that would be the force of the tricep, is equal to 50 newtons times 30 centimeters divided by 8 centimeters and divided by the sine of 12 degrees. Let's find out how strong our tricep has to be. We have 50 times 30 divided by 8 and divided by the sine of 12 and we get 902 newtons. 902 newtons, that's a lot of force. Now let's convert that to pounds because some of you will understand it better if we do this in pounds. Uh, we need uh, pounds in the numerator and newtons in the denominator. One pound is equivalent to 4.448 newtons. I believe that's correct. I'll have to look it up. It's close anyway. Gives us, it'll get us close enough. So divide by 4.448 equals, and that would be 202 pounds or 203 pounds. So your tricep has to apply a force of about 200 pounds in order to lift up your arm here and keep it in that position. That's quite something. The skeletal structure and the way the human body works and the way the muscles move the body is actually amazing when you think about it. There's only certain ways in which that can be done and it always requires very short distances from where the muscles are attached to where the pivot point is relative to where the center of mass of the weights are that you're trying to lift. 
Therefore, the muscles in the body are actually extremely strong, even though you may be lifting just very small weights, like the weight of your arm, which isn't very much, it does require an enormous amount of force in the muscles. It's quite surprising how strong the human body muscles actually are. 200 pounds for a little tricep, that's quite something. And that's how it's done.